Okay, in this video I'm going to go over how to use a new action set I have available for free download, uh, no cost whatsoever, at pshotmagic.com called Sketch-O-Matic. And what that's going to do, it's going to convert any type of photograph into a pencil style um, sketch type drawing uh, to a charcoal pastel type effect depending upon the settings that you choose. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to load the actions into the actions palette of Adobe Photoshop. You will need uh, Adobe Photoshop version CS2 or higher to use this. If the actions palette isn't visible, go up to window and choose actions. To load the actions, click the icon in the upper right corner of the actions palette and select load actions and you'll need to navigate to the sketch matic folder and this is the uh, zipped file you download it and unzipped from our website and you're going to need to double click the action that says sketch matic by p shot magic and now the actions load it and if you like you can move it to the top of your actions palette and expanding the, uh, the action itself, you'll see it has the Sketchomatic Run, which actually uh, runs the process. Uh, after running the process, it has uh, another action called Add Dark Line Drawing Layer, uh, which will kind of give you a, a darker type effect, and it also lets the end user make an adjustment during the process. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work on this Brooklyn Bridge file. Now, this is not a very high quality file. Okay. You want to try to work with as high a quality file as possible. Uh, however, we're going to use this low quality file here in our example. And uh, what I mean by a high quality file, now although you may think this looks okay, if we open up a higher quality version and put it next to it, whoops, there we go you'll see the difference. This is the file we originally had open. This is the file we kind of did some modifications to. And by making sure your file is as basically colorful and as crisp and clear as possible, you can see that there's a big difference between these two. Uh, this one's going to give you a much more pleasing and easier sketch effect uh, as opposed to this one. But we're going to work on the lower quality file here. And now all we'll need to do is to click the sketch o -matic Run Action and hit the Play button in the Actions palette. Now a message box is going to pop up and it's going to basically tell you when the Gaussian Blur box appears to move the Radius slider to get your desired effect. Now don't worry about how your image looks here. Uh, that's going to change drastically in a few seconds. Click Continue. Now Gaussian Blur will pop up and uh, we have it set at a preset value of 8.0. Moving this to the left will give you more of a sketch type line drawing effect. Moving it to the right will give you more of a, uh, you know, a charcoal type uh, pastel effect, okay? Uh, but let's just leave this at 8 and click OK. Now the process is complete. And if we zoom in, you'll see that we have a sketch effect. Uh, now, this might not be dark enough for you. Now, you can adjust this using curves or levels uh, or any other type of tool in Photoshop uh, to make a, an adjustment to it. Or you can add the run the Add Dark uh, Line Drawing Layer action. Okay, It's right underneath the sketch matic action. We're going to click that. Then we're going to click the Play button. And this also allows the end user to make an adjustment during the process. Just follow the instructions, click continue a few times, and now the shadow highlight box is going to appear. And this is going to be set with our preset values. Okay? You can change these to make a different type of effect with your original. As you can see, by unchecking the preview, this already made a drastic difference to the sketch effect. Now, when Shadow Highlights opens, if you don't see all of these sliders, just make sure the Show More Options checkbox is checked. 
as you can see all those uh, values just disappeared we'll check that box and here they are and as I said you know you can move you know these sliders to uh, you know to make this darker lighter remove gray from it uh, so on and so forth okay and now let's just click OK and now that process is complete and we zoom in you see you have a pretty good looking line drawing of uh, the Brooklyn Bridge now if we toggle back on and off between the original sketchmatic and the uh, intensified layer you can see that there's a big difference okay now let's say you want to change the color of the sketch itself you don't want to use this blackish gray look you want to change it to you know red blue green orange purple you know or whatever this is actually very simple to do and this process will only affect uh, the sketch itself and not any you know white uh, areas in the art now the first thing uh, to do in this process is to change the document mode to RGB so we're going to go to image mode and we'll select RGB color and click the don't merge button here okay because we don't want to merge our two layers once we've changed the layer mode the document mode to uh, RGB we're going to add a new layer to the layers palette so we're going to go to the icon in the upper right hand corner choose new layer and this can be named anything and just click OK now you need to fill this blank layer with your intended color so click the foreground color chip in the tools palette of Photoshop and you know you could select any type of color in here you want but for now we're going to stay with red and let's click OK make sure that new layer is selected and let's go up to edit fill and we're going to make sure that foreground color is selected and the opacity is hundred percent and click OK now that layer is uh, filled completely with 100 percent solid red and it completely obliterates your artwork underneath but we're going to show you an easy way to fix that once again with the color filled layer selected choose the blending modes above and scroll down to select screen once selected you can see that all of the uh, sketch effect area is now colored in red and the clear areas uh, in white which you do not want colored remain clear clicking on an office layer you'll see that it hasn't actually materially affected the sketch itself okay it's just the color in combination with this blending mode that's creating this effect now in order to make this effect permanent uh, choose whatever layer that you're not going to be using and throw it in the trash at the bottom of the layers palette now just go up to the icon in the upper right hand corner of layers and choose flatten image now you'll have a uh, single layer document containing one background layer and it will uh, the sketch itself will permanently include the color that you have uh, chosen for it okay, and you'll find this action is great for things like uh, sporting goods you know buildings cars trucks anything that has a lot of detail in it but ironically it also works pretty well on faces too you get a really nice uh, effect using it uh, let's run it on this set of golf clubs here and we'll adjust our radius a little bit make it a little darker click OK and you know within seconds we got a really nice uh, sketch of the uh, the golf clubs here again we could run the add dark line drawing layer uh, action to create that darker layer and you can also use tools within Photoshop itself for example you can go up to image adjustment curves and you know you could kind of make it a little darker uh, by dragging that handle here and you could remove some of the light gray pixels uh, by that and that kind of uh, this kind of gives you more of a, a line type drawing 
as it removes a lot of the gray data to it and it starts to force everything towards black. So I, I highly recommend you know playing around with the use of curves especially uh, when trying to get a final adjustment that you like uh, when converting your image. Okay, now let me give you an example of how well this can work on uh, a face. Now I've opened up uh, a graphic here and we'll run Sketchomatic Run. And here we're going to make an adjustment within our Gaussian Blur window. Going to the right is going to give us that kind of soft pastel type sketch effect. Going to the left is going to give you more of a line drawing type effect. And we're going to let this one have a little bit of gray because I kind of like how that looks and we'll click OK. And as you can see it did a very very good job of uh, creating a gray scale type sketchy line effect uh, out of that photographic image. Now let's add a darker layer to this by running the add dark line drawing layer. That's probably not the best name for this action but well I'm gonna leave it at that and let's run that and we can make you know adjustments in here we can make it darker we can make it a little brighter change the amount you know you can kind of really get it to a combination of a line drawing grayscale type uh, look by changing a lot of these values in here and click OK and you'll see the difference between the two. Okay, and finally I'm going to uh, give you an example of the difference a higher quality photograph is going to make uh, as opposed to a lower quality. Now there's two types of quality. There's quality as far as the, the image itself. As you can see, the, the bridge on the left is uh, much more clearly defined and colorful than the bridge on the right. And then there's quality as far as resolution is concerned. Okay, the higher the resolution of the image, the better the sketch effect is going to be. The sketch effect is not going to work well on like a 2 by 2 inch image at 72 dpi. So you want to kind of work with images at full size at at least 200 dpi with 300 dpi being optimum. Uh, but, you know, that's not etched in stone, but, you know, you'll see that the higher quality, larger images... Uh, are going to convert a lot better. And to give you an example, what we're going to do is we're going to run the sketch effect on the higher quality Brooklyn Bridge. And we used the lower quality Brooklyn Bridge in our original example. So now let's run Sketchomatic Run here. Click Continue. And as you can see, when the Gaussian Blur uh, window appears, the sketch is already very clearly defined and dark. And this is because you're working with a higher quality uh, image to begin with. And actually, if I was running, uh, if I was producing this video on a uh, higher end Macintosh with, uh, you know, high end video in it, uh, this would appear even better. Uh, this video is being done on a, uh, a Lenovo Windows computer that, you know, doesn't have, you know, very, very high quality graphics engine. Uh, but there, you know, but there you go. You, you can see that there's a big difference initially in between running this uh, action on a lower quality versus a higher quality image. And that's about all I have to say. Um, the action is very simple to use. It'll only take you a minute or two to learn how to uh, use it effectively. And it's free. So visit us today at pshotmagic.com and download your copy. Thanks a lot.